Friends, now the first chapter we will be showing you what are the types of profiles used in UPVC windows and doors. Starting from here, now this profile, it is a two track sliding frame profile. If you can see it nicely, this will be used as the frame for the sliding window. Okay, the same frame stands for making a sliding window and a sliding door. Suppose you are making a two track sliding door or a two track sliding window, the frame remains the same. Similarly, if you are making a two track four slider window or a two track four slider door, then again the frame remains the same. So this is the two track frame. Now this is the door sash for the sliding window. Now this door sash remains the same for two track, two track four slider, three track or three track six slider. This sash remains the same. This is used in making sliding doors. This is the sash or you can also call this to be the shutter. How this works? This works this is a two track frame. So this will be gliding like this on top of it. Okay. And both sides it will be gliding like this. And in a three track, this is a three track frame. Now this three track sliding frame is used for both windows and doors. The frame again remains the same and this three track slider frame can be used for making three track windows, three track six slider windows, three track three slider doors, three track three slider, I'm sorry, three track six slider doors as well. So this frame again remains the same and this door sash in cases of doors glides like this on each track. Okay, so three glass, three slider, doors or windows, this is the combination. So, sorry, for doors this is the combination. For windows, uh, this one, this is the window sash. You can see that this is considerably shorter in height. Why? Because windows, the height is very short and doors, the height is uh, above 5 feet that considered as doors up to 5 feet you can use a window sash in cases of making sliders for windows and when it is above 5 feet then you need to use a door sash that is the thumb rule now this is the slider for the sliding windows whether be 2 track 2 slider 2 track 4 slider 3 track in this case uh, 3 slider and 3 track 6 slider now this is the 5 mm glass bead this 5 mm glass bead is used in the shutter to fix the glass this can accommodate up to 5 mm of glass there will be EPDM gaskets on both sides and the glass will be in between and this is for the 5 mm glass bead some glass beads can also uh, take up to 4 to 6 mm of glass now we are showing this of uh, 60 series and 112 series sliding series the series of different companies are very different so you uh, only have to consider about the look of the profiles in here in this tutorial you just take into mind how a sliding window sash looks or how a sliding window bead of 5 mm thickness looks because the design may be different of different companies and they vary so you'll get a hold of it once you start working with this don't get confused now now this is the bead for the 5 mm glass that is the single glass we also call it and this is the bead for the 20 mm glass okay so you see that the gap increases and the bead becomes thinner in this case the glass is thinner so the bead is thick and in this case the glass is thick so the bead is thinner now beads are of varied thicknesses we are just showing you two kinds of bead now the glass thickness can be from 3.5 mm and it can go up to uh, 20 mm in uh, 60 series this is the 60 series profile series for the sliding two track 
and uh, maybe uh, there are series which can even accommodate up to 32 to 35 mm glasses uh, you can go with uh, double glass which is the DGU glass you can go with uh, triple glass which is the TGU glass triple glazed unit so those are used for uh, various other uh, uh, reasons and uh, those things are shown in detail in the booklet about the glasses chapter now this is the interlock what is the interlock when two windows are sliding against each other they need to lock in between okay so that one window doesn't overlap the other so this is the cap cover for that it is called the interlock you can see the dimension over here you can see the grooves it looks like this okay and how this this uh, is fixed this is fixed over here okay you just uh, hammer it with a mallet and this groove gets inside and it becomes a profile like this okay I'm not being able to push it inside with my bare hands but uh, we'll be definitely showing it how to fix this in the later episode and uh, in case of a door slider it will be the same in some profiles the door interlock and the window interlock both are different in some profiles both are same so uh, you need to consider that and uh, talk with the profile company from whom you are taking the profiles uh, that uh, whether they have such kind of a uh, difference or not okay now this is the two and a half track uh, two track one slider mosquito net okay now what is uh, how is it, it is different from uh, this two track you can see that there's an additional thin track over here which accommodates a extra mosquito net as a slider the two track will be glass which you can put a window sash or a door sash and this is a mosquito net slider okay you can see the dimension now this is a mosquito net slider it looks like this and it glides over here now this mosquito net is generally put inside the room so it will be like this this portion will be on the exterior part of the room and this portion will be on the interior part of the room and this will be gliding like this this is the general thumb rule but there is no hard and fast rule even you can uh, reverse the thing and fix it uh, it depends on your client you can just speak with your client before you uh, take the order and start uh, installing the windows now over here the EPDM gasket is, is pushed uh, for the net we will be showing you that part uh, and you can use a SS net you can use a nylon net uh, again it depends on your client uh, whatever they ask you for and then the rollers over here so that it can glide over the track like this okay now there are a varied uh, kinds of uh, UPVC profiles uh, there is no limit to it we are showing you just the basic types so that making uh, basic windows shouldn't be a problem for you now going for more and more complex windows there are uh, latest windows that are coming up every day new designs are coming up so for that once you get hold of the basic ones you can easily make them you just need to uh, have a look at the profile uh, uh, catalog that they have uh, the companies from whom you're taking the profiles okay now this profile have a look at this profile first then i'll be showing you what is the use of it now when you're making a two track four slider window or a three track six slider window or door at that time suppose this slides and on the other side the other sash slides so how are you going to fix them so what happens is you need to fix this profile in between why otherwise they won't be able to lock in between we'll be showing you this in uh, detail later but i'm just touching the topic so uh, both gets locked using this profile okay this is also called cap cover profile they have different names uh, different profile companies call it uh, in their own name so you need to consider the profile catalog and what they call this to order this uh, to them or to us hmm. and uh, this profile you can see they have a track kind of a feature in between 
so it mimics the track and when the sash gets inside this it gets a mimicry of the track and it gets locked you can put the keepers over here and the lock from here gets locked like this okay so this is also called the cap cover profile used for uh, two track uh, four slider and uh, three track six slider windows and doors now we can go to the casement part the sliding part is more or less over now the casement part is uh, very limited this is the casement frame you can also call this uh, openable windows or casement windows many people call it uh, openable windows many people call it casement windows now this is a casement frame and this is a casement sash or shutter you can have a look and this is a casement mullion okay and this is a casement 5 mm beat which is for single glass and this is a casement door sash or door shutter you can see both of them are more or less the same but this is again thicker obviously a door it has to be more thicker because it has to take more load and this is a window again the same rule comes over here 4.5 to 5 feet in height is your window shutter it becomes a window in case of a casement uh, uh, window as well as for a sliding window uh, you can use the window sash or the window shutter in that case and uh, above 5 feet you have to use a door sash in case of a casement or openable window or in case of a sliding window or door now how this works this works like this that this is the casement frame you make a frame out of it and after that the shutter comes like this okay so the shutter closes like this and you get is a window and above that in the shutter is the beat so there's space for the 5 mm glass so it works like this okay we'll we'll get into the elaborate details later and you can see this mullion and this shutter looks more or less the same except this groove can you see that let me tilt this huh can you see that only this groove is the difference why because you need to fix your friction stay over here we'll be showing you that and uh, this mullion it is used as a barricade in between double shutters for casement or openable uh, windows now when the window closes like this it comes like this and it closes like this okay so this is what the look is of the double shutter for the casement windows and in case of doors the same thing happens only the shutter changes now you must be wondering why these two profiles what are these going to do now i need to tell you that these profiles look a bit dirty the reason is we have cut this from scrap so uh, don't consider this that your new profiles are going to look like this dirty anyways uh, now these are called bay profiles okay what is bay profile now when you're making a bay window bay window looks like suppose a window if you need to fix a window on this table how is it going to be you're inside the room consider me to be inside the room okay and there has to be a window now suppose there has to be a sliding two track window in the front and two fixed windows in the sides that is how the customer wants now how are you going to do that you make one fixed window over here one fixed window over here and one sliding window over here now how are you going to fix the corners now this is the frame for the fixed window okay and where is the two track yes huh. this is the frame 
for the sliding window. Now when the meet over here, if you can focus over here, if you, when the meet's over here, from the inside it looks like this, fine, that's very good. But from the outside, it will be looking like this. So that's horrible. When the customer goes out of his house and looks it from the road, they'll be having a view of this, which is not good. And they may shout on you. So for that, we'll be using this 90 degree bay adapter profile or bay profile. Okay, this is a 90 degree profile. What we do is we fix it over here like this and we fix it over here like this. Now the outside of the house looks from the side like this and from the middle like this and looks considerably, considerably good now. Okay, and from the inside it looks like this. Now in case it's not a 90 degree um, situation in the window just like this table it might be a 135 degree situation in that case use this 135 degree adapter and 135 degree adapter will give it a 135 degree look from the inside you'll get the angle and from the outside We'll be getting the finish if you can see that now there are various kinds of adapter profiles available I'm just showing you two types just to give you the idea now these are the basic types of profile 